time they wanna take my place, all time they wanna take my place, all time they wanna take my place. Yeah, no, they wanna take my place. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shape Chocolate. And I'm going to use my Wonder Brow Pencil to fill my brows in. And I'm going to use the spoolie in to just brush out the little bitty hairs that I do have. And then I'm going to fill in my brows with the product. So I have a more in-depth um, tutorial already on my channel. And I'll put the link to that in my um, description box if you guys want to check that out. All right, now I'm gonna move on to concealing the brows. I This is totally optional, however, I have to do it because sometimes I just feel my brows really rough, so I need to clean them up in order for them to look presentable and able to show to the world, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I gotta clean it up. Using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45, and I'm just using a flat brush from BH Cosmetics to just clean that up, and then you just always wanna make sure that you blend out the product that you put around your brows, cause you don't wanna be walking around with highlighted brows. All right, so now I'm just setting my eyes. I put concealer all over my eyes. I'm not gonna do too much shadow today, but I just wanted to set them. So I took the Stardust palette and I took the shade Girls Night from the palette that palettes by Too Faced and I just put it in my crease. Now to foundation, I'm using the MAC NC45 foundation and L'Oreal and I'm just mixing the two because they both don't match my skin tone and if I mix them it kind of gives me the color that I'm looking for okay girl now that I'm done being extra moving on to um, contour so I'm gonna use the shade dark cocoa from LA girl cosmetics and I'm just gonna apply that to the points of my cheeks where I'm going to contour which is a hollow parts of my cheeks and I'm going to use a real techniques um, blender to just blend out that contour now to highlight and add a little bit more coverage, I'm using um, LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fun. I'm just going to apply that in all the areas that I highlight. You guys know I already have a highlighting contour video on my channel as well, which is why I'm going through this so fast. If you guys want to see a more discussed um, tutorial so that you can completely understand, I'll put the link to that video as well in my description box below so you guys can check it out. Sorry that I just sound like I'm just sniffing it all up in my um, voice over. I just woke up so my nose is like still trying to regulate and get right. But back to what I'm doing. I'm using the Beauty Blender to blend it all out. And now I'm adding the Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl. I didn't show the product. I apologize. But I'm using that to just set the um, cream contour. Now I am taking the Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm just setting that highlight. Everywhere I highlight it, I put the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And to clean up my um, contour, I'm just using a little bit of that Sasha Buttercup with the same brush. And I'm just cleaning up under there to make it more of a sharp effect, a more clean effect. And then I'm just going to blend out all these powders and just make sure they're nice and blended together. And just look like they go together instead of separation. And then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of that Ebony Bronzer and just contour up my nose a little bit. And then I'm moving on to Maybelline Blush, and this is a BH Cosmetics Fiber Brush as well. And I'm just going to add some color to my cheeks with this blush. And now moving on to my winged liner. Today I went pretty thick with the winged liner, but it was purposely. I did do it on purpose. And I actually love wearing thick liner now. So I'm using the Kat Von D Ink Liner Pen. And I'm just going to make that 
line first and then I'm just going to connect it and when I connect it I kind of went up a little bit more to get that thick effect to my wing liner and now I'm just going to fill it all in Okay, so I kept this clip in here so you guys can see how to fix wing liner if you mess it up. So right here, I kind of made the line a little bit too long and it wasn't angled right. So my technique to cleaning this up is take a little bit of your foundation and just take a small angle brush or whatever and just go underneath that line and just keep cleaning it up until you get it to the point that you want it to be. If you want it to be shorter, if you want it to be angled in a different direction, if you made it too thick. And then after you use that foundation, just go back on top of it with a setting powder and then just start on over. Right, then I'm moving on to highlight using the Gilded Honey by Laura Geller and I'm just using a little fluff brush from Morphe Precious and I'm just going to apply that highlight to the highest points of my cheeks so you guys can see me glow. All right, now moving on to lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Plum, and I'm just gonna line my lips with this liner. So I'm not adding any lipstick today. I'm just going to line my lips and go with the clear gloss from um, Milani Cosmetics. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? Bare Secret. How did I forget that when I always use this gloss? But yes, this is in the shade Bare Secret and that finishes the look guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!